Heidi, hello. Sorry. It's okay. How was your weekend? It was fine. I was with my family and I, my husband I, and I clean, clean the house because uh, we, we had to take some medidas. How do you say medidas? Mm, do you, do you, well, do you mean that you have to uh, make any decision or you are going to construct or to build something? Yes. Uh, clean the house? Aha. Uh -huh. uh, you... Or, este, como para evitar o, o, o reducir lo del riesgo de coronavirus. Ah, then you have to, to make some resolutions. Ah, okay. Make some resolutions. Hey, that's it. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Leti, what about you? Uh, well, in the, um, I'm, I'm great, and but uh, as um, Heidi, we have to make some resolutions uh, because of the coronavirus. And with my granddaughter, she is with us uh, now because uh, her father was with uh, he he caught a cold. Oh, and, nice. uh, well, it's not, it's just a cold, but um, we preferred that uh, she will be will be here with us um, to take care you know they are they are not going to have classes yeah and so we prefer that um, she stay with us since last uh, since this weekend we we were not going to wait until the 20 because we thought that it was um, not necessary that we prefer uh, now because we know at schools everybody it's with uh, uh with cold and you know <laughs> yeah? yeah so now she's she's uh, with us and she's really oh she's a wonderful girl oh. uh, she's 14 years old she's really beautiful she's a sweet and oh. um, uh, it's it's very very nice to have her with us excellent she's a sweetheart Yes, <laughs> that's wonderful. You know what? I think that this is going to be also a opportunity for everybody to share and to have a better relationship because we are going to be together more time. Yes, yes, that's true. We have to learn again mm -hmm. now how to have relationships with, uh, with our families. Yes, that's it. Excellent. Yeah. All right, thank you, Leti. Hugo, <laughs> thank you. Hugo, how are you? How are you, teacher? I'm fine, thanks. Excellent, I'm fine too. Talk to us about your weekend. How was your weekend? Um, that was a fantastic weekend. I have a lot of job in my house. I, I, I do a, a jardin in my house. I, well, uh, so many plants uh, with my wife uh, uh, stay together and enjoy the day. Uh, uh -huh. And then uh, we stay a little nervous for the coronavirus, but uh, oh we are uh, um, stay, uh, um, how you say, tranquilo, tranquilo. quiet, mild, and, uh, and uh, watch the TV and 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 seguir the recommendation of the of the how do you do in this case? Yeah, to wash your hands. Hey, all of the time. Yeah. All yeah. right. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. Guess what?
Today we are going to talk about something so nice. Our class is going to be about success. And my question, what is success for you? That's the question. Heidi, for you, what is success? It, for me, it's enjoy the, um, how do you say Camino? Way. Enjoy the way or the or, uh, two, two objectives like family, health, work, etc. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's great. Excellent. Thank you very much, Heidi. Heidi, who's your victim? Who's next? Letty or Hugo? Letty. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Hi. Okay, um, success for me is um, when you are um, when you are uh, doing well your things, the things that you want to 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 have or to feel like for example eating like Haiti at home at your job uh in your personal life um every day with your study with your house with your child and i think this is my success each each um if each um thing that i'm going i i win like for example if i can do if I can be better today, a better person, this is a success to me, right? If I can uh, have a better um, note, it's a success for me. In, in many things, I, this is uh, to me. Excellent. All right, thank you very much. So Leti, is your victim, Hugo? Hugo is my victim. All right, <laughs> let's go, Hugo. Well, I think uh, uh, success for me is uh, whatever you do, but you are happiness for that you do. Uh, in special, I think uh, two things. Uh, family is the first, and the second maybe is the, uh, the work in your professional. And when I uh, finish my career, I feel a very successful and and then I have a work and I enjoy very good my, my job and then I conseguí my family and I I give everything they he wants and, and he merecen I don't know what he deserves. Sure. And then, especially, I, I think that two things, family and work, uh, are the successful, and I think. Okay, hey, excellent, that's beautiful. All right, so guess what? Now we are going to watch a video. All right, I'm going to go to this part. Give me a moment. Yeah, so that we can optimize it. Here we go. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Excellent. All right. I was a big dreamer, you know, and so uh, my job was to clean these seven floors between Friday and Sunday. So every time I would go to the, the seventh floor was the CEO's office. So I would bust in like I was the CEO. I'm dreaming like I'm the CEO now. And who would have ever thought I've been blessed? And here I am, I am the CEO of my own company. Well, I think that the, the number one thing is you have to have a very clear vision, a very clear goal of where you want to go. Because only then you will get there. Uh, you can have the best airplane, 
or the best ship in the world. But if the captain doesn't know where to go, he will just drift around. If the pilot does not know where to go, he will just drift around with his plane. So it's, I think the key thing is that we know where we're going and that you're very passionate about that. You, you see it always in front of you, the goal. To thrive in whatever you do, please understand your terrain. Know what your target is, don't guess it. Be as clued up as the next man, because that's, that's, that's your petrol, that's your, 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 your fuel to get you moving. If you don't know where you're going, what your targets are, you're never gonna get there, period. And the other thing that's important is, is that you got to shoot for the top. You got to go and really have big goals and think big because then you're going to get big. Then you're going to go and achieve big things. That is the most important thing. You know, we don't achieve big things by accident. I have to tell each and every one of you that it doesn't matter how, how old you are, how young you are, your age, you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. And I always say, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, if you think that you're gonna go and accomplish something really special and be the best in anything in the world, and you think you can do it without working, you make a big mistake. Because no matter what I did, if it was in bodybuilding or in acting or if it is in, in, in the political arena, uh, it always took a lot, a lot of work. And you got to put out and you got to, you know, something to make a lot of sacrifices and all this. If you're not willing to work hard, forget about it. I, I truly believe we are all equal as human beings. If we are obsessed with something and we truly pursue our passion with everything we have, regardless of any anything else, if you are obsessed, t uh, work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. And, and that is a philosophy that I carry, my coaches carry. And, and to see LeBron James, who's like a mega uh, superstar over here and a phenomenal, phenomenal athlete, share um, that belief is, is inspiring right back to me. It, it shows that we are thinking correct. You know, this is, this is hard work. This is an obsession. Nothing can beat hard work. This here is the reality. Do you mean that the competition is not the reality? Listen, the work is behind the scenes. Competition is the easy part. <laughs> behind the scenes. That's why the work is done. And everything is done to, to get to that one race that you need to run. I always question myself in the best of times, uh, even when I was world number one for many, many weeks and months in a row. At certain times during the year, I said, what can I improve? What do I need to change? Because if you don't do anything or you just do the same thing over and over again, you stay the same. And staying the same means going backwards because the other guys are working hard and improving. So I always needed to find ways to improve my game as well. I very often watch a lot of young people sort of meander around without any idea about why they're doing what they're doing. Okay, thank you very much. What do you think about it? Okay, here we go. All right, so what is your opinion about the video that we saw? What about you, Hugo? Uh, what could you understand? Well, I understand uh, whatever you do, you can do it with the passion. And you can do it uh, for uh, like a pilot. Uh, you can know where are you going and uh, this don't um, matter with uh, we we can we we can do everything but we can do it with the passion and we are we find a way uh, for the successful excellent all right thank you very much katie what about you what could you understand yes. Sorry, teacher. I I have problem with my 
computer, I almost listen a part of video, but I understand about when a person dream with reach something and and do everything to reach them. Uh -huh. Okay, excellent, thank you. Leti, uh, you mentioned that you have some problems. You have some problems? Yes, I, yes, I have. I, I had, I couldn't um, see the, all the video and um, the sound, the words, you know, they were very, like when you have um, interference, yeah? I don't remember how you say it. But I can understood the, the, the little part that I, I can listen. Uh, the same as uh, Owen Hay did that. When you, when you want to do something, um, you just have to think about it and you have to work on it. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, that's it. You know what? Uh, it attract me. My it attract my attention. I mean, uh, something that Arnold Schwarzenegger said, and he said that when you have a goal, you have to uh, have the direction on what you wh what you want and where you want to be, because if you don't have any idea of what is your objective, then uh, it is something like as if you were in a plane and the pilot of the plane was drifting around, uh, flying with no direction. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I think so. I, I think that we all have need to have a target, a defined target. Yeah. And they, they mentioned also that when you have a target, go for the big thing. Don't look for the, the small parts that you can get, but look for the biggest. Somebody told me one day, if you ask for pennies, you will be given pennies. If you ask for dollars, then you will be given dollars. And so, yeah. uh, yes, that's it. Pennies yeah, that's is something like cents. Okay, if you ask for cents, you will be given cents. And yes. so, yes, go for the big one. The big that one. That, uh, one of my aunts, usually, she usually, um, she used to, to say that, that you have to go for the big one, not the, the small. Yeah, that's it. So if you have a, big goals then you are going to have big success yes excellent all right thank you very much iphone jm welcome how are you iphone uh, I, I, I i'm fine thank you very much my name is javier morales and, thank um, you I, i'm late but i am here all right javier i am going to rename you so that you can have the correct registration of your attendance. Is Thank you. Javier Morales. Morales. Excellent, thank you very much. Hey kids, I have a doubt. Hugo, are you in B1? Not what me, I am. I'm B2. B2, ah, Hugo. Hugo. No, this is Javier Morales is speaking. Ah, yeah. All right. So, Javier Morales, what's your level? Uh, uh, is number two. Uh, B2 or B1? B2. B2. Okay. Hugo Enrique, what's your level? My level is, uh, is um, uh, mm, is B1. B1, all right, thank you. Heidi, what's your level? Uh, general two. Okay, it's B1. And Leticia del Carmen. Leti, what's your level? Uh, B2. B2? Yes, I, I, oops. 
Because <laughs> it's the general one, the general two. Yeah, yes. the, the class is for general two. Yes. Uh, the class <laughs> for B2 is in the next hour. But if you want to take the class here, there's no problem. Ah, okay. I'm going to check because I... No, I, I have to be in general two. In general uh, one. General one is, or general two? Oh, uh, let me let me check that because... I, I think this is general two. General two. Yes, B1. Is the same general two and B1? Yeah, that's it. So, you are you in general two? Yes. Ah, I'm then general it's two. okay. All right. Yeah, it's general two, B1. It's the same. All right. Excellent. So, uh, I, I was asking you about your level because I thought that you were from different groups, but it's okay then. There's no problem. All right, so look at this. Here we have some words that are related to success. And I would like you to do me a favor. Let's select some of the words and let's do some uh, examples, some sentences using the words. For example, I could say that um, for having success, it is necessary to set a goal and have personal organization. That could be the key for progress. Okay? So I was using some of the words. So can you select some words to make some sentences? Okay. Ready? Okay, who's my victim? Uh, my victim is Letty. Letty, okay. it's your turn. <laughs> uh, okay, I think now I have time to um, my personal organization uh, project and my personal activities and because now because i have motivation and motivation with that uh, okay On it. yes that's it all right excellent thank you very much that's okay it. tell me who's your victim oh my victim is javier okay uh, uh, well uh, i i think uh, uh, to 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 be success uh, to have success in life, uh, you need to have a goal, a project, and uh, try to work with a high quality in uh, to get uh, such uh, uh, the purpose of such a project, and uh, uh, I think if. Uh, if you uh, work uh, 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 as a team uh, with organization and uh, consistently, uh, you can uh, be success on your project. Excellent, hey, Javier, that's pretty good. I agree with you. Okay, so Javier, who's your victim? I don't know, I'm going to look for someone. Hugo Enrique. Thank you. Okay. Um, if you have any plan, you can do any project in your mind. You need time for a lot of work, but you can do it. Excellent. Hugo, thank you very much. That was so nice. All right. So, uh, who's your victim? Uh, Heidi. Thank you. Thank you. In business, you need to have a goal and a great team and a strategy to reach growth and progress. Hey, that's great. You know what? They were very good examples. Thank you. Now, let's talk about something else. 
this is my question. Have you ever failed doing anything? Because of course, not everything is perfect. Sometimes we have failure. But what happened when I, when I have that failure, when I don't succeed? How I react? What is my attitude? So uh, first, Javier, I would like to know about you. Have you ever failed doing anything? Um, yes, uh, I have. I have failed several times, but uh, also it's a, it's an experience. Um, uh, the problem when when you fail is that uh, uh, your attitude could change. Uh, probably you don't evaluate uh, properly uh, what happened, and uh, you can't. Uh, uh, probably you are not going to take the best uh, decisions. And uh, um, I remember once, once, um, which I, I, I think I, I, I uh, my goal was a little difficult, probably, and I couldn't uh, get, and I failed, and I, 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 I also feel very bad, but it happened. You, you have to, to learn from that kind of experience. Yeah, that's it. Hey, that was so wise. Thank you very much, Javier. Javier, your victim. Um, um, Heidi. Thank you. Okay. The attitude is we we able to to learn about our experience and try again until we we can do it or reach the the goal excellent all right thank you please tell us who's your victim Letty. thank you <laughs> okay thank you well um first of all i am scold myself when I fail and I said oh why no why uh, you don't have to do it like this or like that and then um, in me the most of, of the times immediately I think about uh, why do I do I fail did I fail and um, I try to to um, to make it in uh, the thing or better, but changing things. Now you know maybe the um, like when you do an um, I don't know how to say rompecabezas. You know you have to 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 find the, the exactly pieces. No, and I have in my head like to make this again to to have a, a better result in my things. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. Excellent. Thank you very much. Something like a puzzle. Yes. All right. Excellent. Thank you, Letty. Your Thank victim. You. My victim is um. I think Hugo. Excellent. Thank you. Well, well, uh, I, I I feel very frustration when I feel in any way we can I do in the past. But I learned the that vacation of fracaso fail. Fail. Uh, fail. And I, I learned Anytime that you can fail, you you have a uh, uh, learn to that thing, and you continue, and you can do the next one for for do do a better do a better thing. Well, I, I don't know, for you, but I I learned that uh, that all my fail, you can. Uh, 
Excellent. Hey, you all have very good attitude in front of failure. <clears throat> you know what? I coincide, I totally coincide with you when you say that we learn from our mistakes. And <clears throat> I would like to talk to you about some people. For example, here we have two, Thomas Edison. Uh, I remember a part of the story when Thomas Edison was asked, uh, well, first of all, you have to remember, you must remember that Thomas Edison was the person who invented the bulb. And so when he invented the bulb, he committed mistakes, of course, and he uh, had to do it 2,000 times. And once when he was interviewed, the reporter asked him, how do you feel of having failed for 2,000 times? And he said, I didn't fail. Uh, that experiment had 2,000 steps. So, <laughs> yeah, so it is tremendously uh, nice because when you pay attention to what you do and you see that you had been repeating things, it's not as a fail, it's a learning, as you said so wisely. We learn when we fail, and then we can grow up. Uh, do you know anything about Einstein? Um, yes, uh, he was a student, a failed student. She don't uh, learn mathematics, math, math and, and, and his school when he was a child and he was uh, F and this and math, then uh, it was, was, he was a child. Yeah, I remember that. that story. <laughs> yeah, that's it. He had to repeat one school year Yeah. because of mathematics. Do you remember what was the school year that he had to repeat? No. No? Well, he had to repeat the fourth year of elementary school because he failed in mathematics. Incredible. Whenever you see a boy, for example, a student, maybe you say, oh, he or she is a mess. She or he mm -hmm. is not going to do it. But we don't know. People who are persistent and who have clear goals are the ones that go farther and farther. Uh, so what about Elvis Presley? Do you know anything about Elvis Presley? Mm. Mm. But his problem was that it was uh, very hard because of the drugs. I think that was the, he failed. Uh -huh. Well, what I knew about Elvis Presley was that after his divorce, he began to consume many drugs to uh, stop his appetite because he was very overweight. Oh, yeah. And yeah. due to the excess in the consumption of those drugs, he had kind of like a heart attack. But mm -hmm. I think that it was not a heart attack. It was an overdose. Yes. Yes, I think so, too. Yeah. And it, it, uh, it's, uh, it's a shame because he was a very good singer. Mm -hmm. And he had like the, this... Um, uh, when you, you attract people, many people, too much people. And mm -hmm. it was a shame that he finished like that, no? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Well, another person that I could talk about with um, not not a very nice end was Michael Jackson. Oh, yes. That's so, true. Michael Jackson was an incredible composer, a very talented singer. Uh, he was also so gifted in dancing. Yeah. He was a superstar. Yes. That's true. But what happened with Michael Jackson? 
I think um, his one of his big, big problems were um, was uh, his, his searches. He, some of the things that he kept, he began doing with uh, you know with medicine to doctors and his face because he wanted to look like I don't remember which which actress and he began to change uh, all himself no yeah like Elizabeth Taylor yes that's true yeah. uh -huh, I guess that's it oh and well he was not only a very successful singer composer and dancer but also he was a very rich man yes <laughs> And uh, Javier, what do you think about that, the, the way that Michael Jackson died? Oh, I, I, I think it was uh, very triste, believable, but I don't remember that word in English. Sad. <laughs> uh, sad, the, uh, I think it's a very sad uh, history because uh, really he, he uh, was a very good artist and I think also a good person. But uh, he he had several problems. I don't know. He he didn't know how to to manage. And um, finally, uh, I think uh, he had legal problems. Also problems with uh, uh, friends, family, and uh, it's um, very really uh, very good artist. Uh, uh, his music is uh, uh, excellent, uh, very nice dancer, uh, but uh, he, he, he had everything, but he lost everything at the, at the end. No? Yeah, that's and, it. And, and his life. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes I feel, okay, maybe I would like to have a lot of money a very, an enormous house, so beautiful clothes, a, a bank account, a so nice car, and then I would say that I am successful, and then I will be happy. But is that true? Is that true that whenever we have a lot of money and material possessions, we can be happy? I promise I'm well going to be. <laughs> could, help, could, could help a lot, but not always. <laughs> yeah, my question is because of this. Because, well, Michael Jackson, of course, he had a lot, a really lot of money, and he was very famous. But many people said that he was not a happy person, that he was very introvert, that he was all of the time alone. Uh, that he didn't talk well yeah he didn't use to talk a lot that well some things like that so he didn't seem to be very happy but why if he had money fame material possessions a lot of friends he was famous why wasn't he happy Something um, then he doesn't have, uh, something um, he 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 have a, a problem, ju justice problems for the kids, and then she she know is that's a bad idea, but she likes them. Uh, that I, I don't know what they say, but maybe. She doesn't happy, but because she doesn't have that thing that I he wants, and then is uh, uh, it's, uh, the system is no the people don't 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 um, prove that. Uh huh. So he was not satisfied. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Hugo. Javier, what do you think about it? Why, if he had a lot of money, fame, fortune, things, why wasn't he happy? 
I I think people need uh, uh, to be uh, as a member of the society and uh, to be well accepted and uh, be success on uh, their. Es que there we go. I have a question. There are there are conversation classes different than this. Uh, it's not. I didn't me. know it. I didn't know it. I I I don't remember what's my which is my. Which is my level, because I <laughs> was just uh, thinking like it, like uh, it's a uh, general, 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 general too. General two. Yes. The general general two is the same. One. The big general one. Two. If it is general one, it is A two. If it is general two, it's B one. And so uh, you know what? There are many other classes. For example, uh, there is a class with teacher Eric, I think, but um, as far as I am concerned, if you talk about B1, B2, and C1, it's only mine, uh, but there are many other classes during the week. For example, tomorrow, um, Friday, Saturday, we have also classes for B1. And those classes are like this or are different uh, structures? Uh, no, they are the same. Okay. If you because I, 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 I write, I sent a mail just a, a minutes ago uh, as my inscription uh, for the class on Thursday, uh, Thursdays this time. Ah, okay. So it's okay. It doesn't matter if you selected, uh, for example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's okay. Uh, what we wanted to avoid uh, is that, for example, one day we will be alone because nobody came. And the other day there were lots of people and you couldn't participate. That's why we uh, divided the classes. The, we divided the students into different classes. But, for example, if you couldn't be here on Thursday, you can be on Wednesday, on Friday on Saturday, whatever you may like, there's flexibility. Okay, thank you very much. No, my pleasure. And uh, my apologies, I had some problems with the electricity, so that's why I was out for some minutes. And yes, I'm sorry, we, you were- We were talking about that, Miss. We said we lost our teacher. <laughs> no, here I am, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. All right. Yeah. And so we were talking about success, how people uh, succeed doing something. And we were talking about Michael Jackson. Well, I, I liked to talk about Michael Jackson because for me, it was a reference. Once upon a time, I wanted to be very famous and I wanted to have a lot of money. But later on, when I saw the cases of Michael Jackson, Robin Williams, and some other famous people, I said, mm, I think that money and fame is not everything in life. And well, in my case, for example, I could say that I am very successful because I have got all my goals and all the goals I set, I can get them. And so I feel so satisfied, so self-satisfied because I have had the opportunity of doing many different things and I enjoy, I really love what I do. I love what I do and I do what I love. So it is something nice for me. I wanted to share this image with you. The difference between I can and I can't 
is so little. There's not a lot of difference. I can't, I can't do it. Yeah, what do you think about this image? What about you, Heidi? I think we, we don't have to put limit about the things we can reach and, and do it and it's important to change the, the way to see the life about to get rich dreams or goals in the life Yeah, you're right. I totally agree with you. Okay, any volunteer, anybody else who wants to, to say anything? Well, I think uh, you, you, you say um, uh, important. Uh, if you think in pesos, you can get pesos, but you uh, think in dollars, you can 24 uh, times you get a uh, dollar is, is not important, but uh, you, 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 you get to, to try translate and project. I, I, I think if you, if you, Feel okay, uh, and you build a house. It's it's a you can do it to, to do that, and this is a successful. But if your project is a business, uh, you can do the business, and then it's a goal too. But if you think uh, I finished my career, it's uh, another project and another goal that you can uh, give have. Uh, then a lot of things that you propose and you think only you can do it. But if you can't do it, it's a fail. Then uh, it, it, it's a little thing you can do. Cook the tea and you can do it. <laughs> That's it, yes. That is just a question of attitude and make a decision. That's all. Yeah. Excellent, thank you very much. Anybody else kids? Volunteers, come on. Well, sometimes it could be acceptable uh, to think or to say, I can't do it, uh, but because it is uh, something that is uh, not ethic, something that is not correct. And uh, I think uh, sometimes it's uh, good to say, I can't do it just because it's not, uh, uh, in this in the, in the, the good way or, or it's something that could be uh, dangerous probably and it's better to give that kind of answers or or things uh -huh, yeah you're right maybe it's okay not to say i can't maybe to say i need a break i'm going to rest and later on i will start again but not to not to defeat yourself, not to abandon your dreams. Oh, no, no, I, I'm talking about some kind of instruction which is not uh, uh, in, the, in, in, in accordance with a policy, uh, with a, a, a good practice or a, a policy of a company or a, an, a agree with the values of the, of, of the company or your own values. And if someone asks to you, or suggests to you, or give to you some kind of instruction to do, to do something that is not good, the proper answer is, I can't do it. There is no other answer. Uh -huh, yeah, that's it. Hey, excellent. Thank you very much. Anybody else's opinion? Come on, kids. I think it's um, like the strong way to say 
things when you 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 accept or not accept to do something maybe or you can you you don't have or you have the capacity or um, uh, or you you may do an effort to to do something can or can't i think it's really very strong like with the um, the cons conscience and and uh, security in yourself to do or to not doing something that's it yes it's just a very small difference yeah. very slight difference but the results are tremendously different okay well um, I don't know if you want to add up anything else to comment anything or to ask any other questions no it's not everything is clear all right thank you very much well thank you for attending this class and have a very good night meet you next week thank you very much thank you, thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. bye bye, bye, -bye. Good night.